Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. If you're returning, nice to see you again. This is my very first video. I've been doing my channel since November. This is my very first video I'm doing on a combined vendor haul. I have a tiny order from Savannah Blue and I have a small order from Vintage Chic. So I decided to put them together, you know, just because I um, thought I'd do uh, a combined video. I have already unpacked the Savannah Blue. I wanted to get a couple of scoops because Savannah Blue offers um, the Perfect Christmas, which is, I was I was told, is a really good dupe for Bath & Body Works Perfect Christmas, which is my favorite holiday candle. I just, I just love it. So I decided, you know, to make my order worth it, I got three scoops. They're all green. I had no idea they would be all green. Um, the first one I got here, Savannah Blue is owned by Amy... Um, I don't, I think Christensen is her last name. Um, Amy, Amy, I'm sorry. I, I don't know her last name. I, maybe it's Christensen. I think it starts with a C. The first one I got is Looking Glass. The notes here are coconut milk, wood smoke, and clean cotton. And I've been really getting into clean cotton lately. So I thought, you know, I, I only have a little bit of experience with Savannah Blue. And I really like her texture. I really like um, how creamy it is and how it just cuts nicely and it performs really well in my home and I never had her scoops before so um, I didn't want to wait until Christmas time to try the perfect Christmas and she offered it in scoops so that's why I made this order originally so this is a it's a softer wax and I've had um, some scoops from another vendor that's a li little bit harder but this one is a this is a softer wax I can squeeze the sides and there's a little bit of give to it but this one, it's coconut and cotton, and it's really, really, really pretty together. I had a, I had a laundry scent from another vendor that was coconut and peach and um, cotton. It was beautiful. I loved it. This one, this one is a good one too. I'm gonna let these cure a couple more weeks because I always let wax cure at least two weeks to four weeks. It just depends. Um, this next one is lemon limeade Italian cream soda. And I saw people in the group, they really, really like this one. So I snatched this one up. This one is lemonade, limeade, cream soda, and a touch of fizz. And this one's really good. It's definitely fizz. You get that fizzy pop, soda pop, zing. And then it's lemonade, lemonade and limeade together. Really, really good. And finally, the one I've been waiting for, the perfect Christmas. And these notes are cinnamon and sugar, toasted marshmallow, and a hint of fresh cut pine. And I will, I will say, there's another vendor that does the same notes, something similar, but it's a little bit artificial for me. This one here, this one is pretty darn close to the Bath and Body Works candle. The only thing that I might be a little bit, um, that I might critique is it just, it seems like, the pine, the, the pine is not right, but th that's in my experience in the past. This one here, sniffing it on cold, it's pretty darn close to the candle, but the, but I mean, of course, Bath and Body Works scents are proprietary. You know, they're not going to release exactly what they put into their into their blends. But this one, I'm really, I think I'm, I think when I wet this cure, I'm going to try this off sooner or later, just so I can see if I have found. If I have found the perfect Christmas, I will buy this in multiple, multiple, multiple forms, however Amy offers it. But that one smells good. I do like, I do like all three of these. Um, she also sent some scoops, these little wooden scoops, and I got three of them because I have three scoops. And I got a couple samples. I got a little bit of a scoop sample in strawberry pound cake frosted shark circus. Frost frosted circus cookies and this one you know you can you can see in this one the the texture of the wax is pretty soft here and this one is nice this one is it's pretty much strawberry pound cake to my nose so i'm hoping when it cures a little bit that frosted the frosted circus man i'm tongue-tied today guys the frosted circus cookies will you know become a little bit more dominant and then i got a little heart in cherry just plain cherry and cherry's tough because cherry can be a, a medicinal to a lot of noses. Oh, this is a 
good cherry. This is really good. This is not medicinal at all. This is it's like cherry pie filling, that burst of sweetness and tart of the cherry. That is really good. And I and I did see several people say that she has really good cherry scents. And I think Vivian, my friend Vivian, told me that she has really good cherry scents too. And they ain't kidding. So I will definitely have to try some more of Amy's cherry scents. That is the Savannah Blue portion of my video. And then I just got a couple items from Vintage Chic. I wanted to grab, uh, Kirby offered, um, Kirby from Missouri offered Martha and Snoop in a loaf. And um, I've kind of been curbing my um, wax buying recently just because I have a crap ton of it like we all do. And um, I'm just trying to be a little bit more... Um, financially conscious just because of the the state of the economy and gas prices and such you know I think all of us are probably having to reevaluate our spending habits not just with wax but everything so my husband and I have started a car pull to work um, at least for right now and he goes into the office on Wednesdays and so do I we both work from home most of the time and uh, so I thought you know Hit my office is an exit before his, so he can drop me off and pick me up on the way home. And it's fun. So, um, yesterday was his birthday. We went to dinner with his family. He has two sisters that live here. Well, he has two sisters, and they both live here. And it's the first time that I've known him. I've known him 11 years. It's the first time that his two sisters and his mom, his, his dad is deceased, have all been together and most of their kids, most of their kids were there. And one sister has three kids and they were all there. My nieces, Eden, Emma, and Ellie, if you're watching, I told them last night about my channel. So maybe they're watching. And then my other sister-in-law, Lori, they have four kids. Uh, one is on spring break. Um, he's in college and the other daughter is in college and they have two kids at home. And those two were there last night. So, and then, you know, we couldn't bring our child, our, our cat. So <laughs> the grand cat was not there last night, but, um, my mom was there also. My mom does live here in Utah. I don't talk very much about her. She's kind of a private person. So, uh, but, but she was there as well. So a couple more, a couple items here from Kirby. This sample I got here was, it was all a dream. Lavender sugar cookies topped with coconut cream frosting and, oh, coconut cream frosting. Hot damn. And fresh picked strawberries. That is, that's nice. Right now it's, it's kind of light to me and I'm not quite sure. I mean, coconut and lavender go beautifully together. It's what, one of my favorite blends. That is nice. I'm right now I'm just getting sugar cookie and frosting. But I hope when this cures, because this was poured on March 7th, so it's it's almost ready. I'll let this cure another month or so because, you know, I have enough wax to hold me over until then. Um, I will cut this into fours. I can get, um, this is a two ounce, so I'll use, I'll get three to four melts out of this one. Just because that's all that I, that's all that I need to get a sufficient throw in my home. I got two items here. And I have to give Vivian, Vivian Corlew, my, my, my waxy friend. Um, if you, if you're on Facebook and a lot of the groups, you know who Vivian is. I mean, she's such a kind soul and she's always willing to help with blend recommendations or, you know, Hey, you might like this one. And Vivian and I talk daily and I really, really am so thankful that I have a friend like her in my life. So Vivian recommended this blend to me. This is Jackie O's Palo Santo and Chestnuts and Brown Sugar Cupcakes. This is vanilla bean cake topped with whipped marshmallows and Palo Santo, chestnuts, and brown sugar cupcakes. I mean, come on. Her brown sugar, I have another blend here with brown sugar in it. Her brown sugar oil is just delicious. I love it. And, oh, this is really, really good. Um, right now, these are in roses beautiful roses they look like they're piped with icing you know this one here i'm getting on cold brown sugar believe it or not brown sugar and cake so hopefully these were poured on march 9th hopefully when these get nice and cured those chestnuts i love chestnuts that comes alive so beautifully in wax i love chestnut i wish they were used more often in wax 
Um, I'm really, really happy that Vivian pointed that blend out to me because I love Jackie O's, the vanilla cake with whipped marshmallow. I really like that too. So thank you, Viv, as always. And finally, I got a loaf of Martha and Snoop. Another one of Vivian's favorites, I will say. Um, Vivian is actually the person who told me about Vintage Chic. I had seen Vintage Chic talked about here and there, but I didn't really, I wasn't in the group, so I didn't know anything about it. I didn't know anything about Kirby or where she was from or what scent she was known for, raspberry. But um, Martha and Snoop is zucchini bread, which I love. Vanilla butter fudge, cupcakes at Tiffany's, and brown sugar. I actually... Oh, that's so good. Um, when this blend, I mean, I made my first order with Vintage Chic around Halloween. So it hasn't been that long. And I know there are you, some of you guys out there have been buying for years. Um, I have a four pack, a four coin pack of um, Martha and Snoop. But I have never melted it because I know that it's highly sought after. It sells out every time that it's poured. And I thought when I have an opportunity to buy a larger quantity, then I'll use my coins. So my coins are going to be melted pretty soon. Back to this blend. This blend is... It's so good. And I think I'm smelling a combination of cupcakes at Tiffany's with brown sugar. And I'm getting a hint of the vanilla butter fudge, with, which adds depth, and then zucchini bread in the background. This is a glorious, wonderful, delicious scent. And I'm so happy. This was poured on March 15th, actually. March 15th. That was, <laughs> that was this week. Oh, man. Um... Anyways, this one needs to cure for several more weeks, but that is my little video. It's a short guide today of my Savannah Blue scoops and my vintage chic haul. So hope you guys are having a great weekend and hope you have a good Saturday and Sunday. Stay safe and happy spring. See you soon.